So once I finished my summer homework, I like to use the summer to review where I am classes-wise and if I haven't already, I register for and get to know the classes that I'm going to be taking the next semester or year. And so once I've registered for classes, I just quickly go over the summary of the class and buy the textbook if I need to and also see if I need any supplementary materials for the class. So this tip is especially useful if you are in a class that is standardized and has standardized tests or you're in a class that is relatively difficult and you feel like you need extra resources. So especially when I was taking AP classes, I would do a lot of research on which prep books to get. I would find AP class teacher websites because a lot of the times you can find really useful practice questions and just different useful class notes and resources. And also YouTube channels, you can make a playlist with useful full YouTube channels for whichever classes you're taking this coming school year. So once I've cleared out my old files and notes and stationery, I like to go back to school shopping because back to school shopping is definitely my favorite part of going back to school. So usually what I like to do is I get my planner or whatever I'm going to be using for the school year for my organization system. I'll get essentials like post-it notes and highlighters and just anything that I know that I will be using no matter what for my school year during the summer before even the back to school season really starts and everything good has been wiped out. But I'll usually wait until after the first week of school to get notebooks, binders, and even pens until I get the syllabus because a lot of the times, especially in high school and middle school, the teachers require you to have a specific type of binder or notebook and every teacher in every class has different requirements so I usually wait until after the first week of school to get those class specific items. This is a great time to also clear your phone and your tablet and just computer of space because usually by the end of the school year you have a bunch of pictures, videos on your phone, computer is full of files, and just everything is a mess.
the interruption, but it's time for the sponsorship segment. Speak up louder, inspiration fairy. You must speak with confidence. Never mind, just watch and learn. Hi, it's me, the productivity fairy, and I'd like to thank Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. You can use it to explore new skills, pursue your passions, and get lost in creativity. All right, now you, inspiration fairy. It's okay if you use your script since you're still a trainee. Um, okay. So, um, Skillshare has tons of great journaling, hand lettering, and drawing classes for those of you interested in getting better in those areas. Estella, what class are you currently taking? Thank you for asking. I'm currently taking Nikki Stevens' creative video storytelling and editing, making the most of stock footage since I've been trying to use more stock footage in my videos lately, and I just wanna make sure that the integrations are smooth and the stock footage really works into the video. The class is very straightforward and great for beginners, and it's really helped me understand how and when to use the stock footage and also how to make the videos more interesting overall with stock footage in them. All right. Where was I in the script? Ah, right. Skillshare is curated for learning, so, so. Are you crying? <laughs> oh, oh no, please don't cry. I'm not good with crying. Uh, I'll take it from here. You did well for your first time, don't worry. Good job. Okay, so Skillshare is curated for learning and there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a free trial for the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. All right, that's all we have for today. Goodbye. So once the school year starts, the first thing I always do is I go over the syllabi I received and write down dates in the calendar or in my planner. And if you're using a physical planner, then I recommend in the beginning writing everything down in pencil, just because at least especially this past year, I've noticed that almost none of the dates that initially were on the syllabi ended up actually being the correct dates. A lot of the times teachers will change the dates by a couple of days or even remove some assignments or add some new ones in. Personally, I think writing everything down at least in the beginning and pencil until it's been proven that it will be permanent is a better option. And then later you can always go over it with different colored pens that match each class. So this is a great time to also get familiar with a class and how it works and what weighs what. So for instance, if tests are 50% of the grade or only 10% of the grade, and also just plan accordingly based on how different categories are weighed. So the first week of class is also a great time to meet the teachers and introduce yourself and just ask questions from the beginning since I always know personally that for some reason the sooner that you talk to the teachers the easier it is to talk to them later when it really matters during the semester. It's kind of easy to just feel like the teachers are super inaccessible and just really hard to talk to but if you talk to them during the first week of class you'll pretty quickly realize that it's not that terrifying and that you can easily ask them questions the rest of the semester. Or if you happen to be really unlucky and you have a really mean teacher that just does not want to cooperate and help you, then at least you found out during the first week of school. And you can also take that to account and understand that this teacher is probably going to give you a hard time. So if you need help, you'll have to ask somebody else, but at least you'll know 
in the first week of school. That's how you're making up. So during this time, during the first couple of weeks of school, once I have all the information about my classes, I also like to choose my extracurriculars wisely for the school year and sometimes drop some and just review what I have planned for the year and make adjustments. So the beginning of the school year is a great time to kind of reevaluate, okay, do I have a realistic plan or is this the plan of a superhuman that is not me that could just physically not be able to do 400 different clubs and at the same time juggle all these difficult classes. Sometimes it's easy, especially if the information is not that hard, to just not start taking notes and procrastinate. And then the longer you go not taking notes and just not really studying for the class, the harder it is to get started. So even if the first couple weeks are really pretty simple and basic, I still like to try to take the notes so that later on in the semester when things are getting harder, you have that foundation and that important knowledge from the very beginning of the class. What's up, man? 